On today's show, you're invited on a Canada fishing adventure to a place with a haunting name, Ghost River, with Minnesota's fishing legend, Gary Roach, who calls himself Mr. Walleye. That's not Casper the Ghost on the end of Mr. Walleye's fishing line. Yeah! Burger. Time to go wild in the kitchen. Laura and Chef Jim create another great taste treat with venison burger for the grilling season. And later, resort businesses around Baudette wanted to thank veterans for their service by offering a day of guided fishing on Lake of the Woods. It's an event known as Pay It Forward. We tagged along. Those stories and more next. Minnesota Bound. Brought to you by Minnesota Select GMC Dealers. Hi everybody, Raven and I welcome you to the show. You know it's not often you get to go fishing with a legend, but I did, my old friend Gary Roach. We both went to a place in Canada known as Ghost River. With an unusual name like that, something certainly was going to bite. Listen, listen, you hear voices above the rushing water? Could be, they've been heard here before. This is Windigo Falls, so named by the Cree and Ojibwe Indians a long time ago. Windigo is the name of a spirit and not a nice one an evil spirit. The reason why that waterfall is named that, if you stand back in the distance, the waterfall actually kind of talks to you. It kind of moves so you can hear it coming in, coming out. So it all makes sense now. The name, Ghost River, such an unusual name for a remote fishing lodge, but there's more to the story. Yeah, it was named by my dad's uh, great aunt. She named it kind of after the Windigo River, but using the actual word of Ghost River. Oh, great. But there's nothing scary about the lodge itself. Makes you feel right at home. And look who's here to fish with me. A good one. No, he's staying down. He's long in the tooth, but he's no ghost. Beauty, 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 beauty. Mr. Walleye. There you go, Mr. Walleye. Gary Roach doing his thing. Mr. Walleye, who grew up on Mission Lake near Brainerd, has never tired of catching walleyes. I got one, I got mine. Little one, little, little guy. A little baby one, a baby one. To me, it's, it's looking to find them. And once I find them on that point over there and I catch a few, I said, I gotta go to another point or I gotta go to something else and see if I can keep finding them. Here at Ghost River, there's no shortage of walleye haunts to explore. Yeah, it's a river system. It's got, uh, the main lake is Marshington Lake. It's a 9,000 acre lake. It's got seven inlets and only one outlet on the system. Daryl and his wife, Tina, are veterans in the remote fishing lodge business. It's mostly planning, and we have a good plan that's set in place. I mean, I, I do up my menu plans for the whole season at the beginning of the year. So that's my life, <laughs> up here in the bush. <laughs> We've got boats in uh, 13 lakes, and some of them are multiple. Some might have four boats, some might have two boats, and motors. So I got equipment stashed all over the bush. Yeah, another one, big one. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's what everybody likes about our place, is the variety factor that comes with it. 
I mean, one day you're fishing one body of water, the next day you're fishing a different body of water. Meanwhile, Gary Roach, a.k.a. Mr. Walleye, was defending his title. Oh, this one's going. This one's going, man. <laughs> this one's going. Yeah. Big fish, buddy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> sure rock. That's a good one, uh, buddy. <laughs> it's a good one. I got mine up close here. Ooh, good one. Okay. Oh, doubles, man. How's that, Gary? Good morning, friends, buddy. How about that, huh? Coming up. Woo, look at this one. More walleye catching, more walleye cooking, and more walleye wisdom as we roam the waters of Ghost River Lodge. It's just amazing. Minnesota Bound. Brought to you by Minnesota Select GMC Dealers, Kingtail Gator, Border View Lodge, Jesse Treble's Safe Basements of Minnesota, and by Evan Root, the official outboard motor of Minnesota Bound. All right, let's continue our adventure to Ghost River Lodge. As usual, I'm sitting in the boat watching my old friend, Mr. Walleye, pull him in left and right. With a name like Ghost River Lodge, as you might expect, there's no shortage of adventure when you're with Mr. Walleye. We're going to a different lake, but you have to go through something they call the tunnel. Take me to the walleyes. Mr. Walleye. Somebody thought of this, Gary. Somebody thought of making this tunnel. Just amazing. The tunnel, built to bypass a railroad bridge, leads to Clamshell Lake, one of 13 other lakes reachable from the lodge. Man, huh? How about that? Wow. Huh, Sarah? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Walleye, you want to bet on the first fish? <laughs> you lose. This is how you do it, Gary. You done and got him. I tried to show you, Gary. I tried yeah, to show you. I had you. to tie the right jig on for you. Remember that, don't That's true. Don't get too cocky now. Oh, that's a nice one there. Oh, look at that nice one. He just swallowed it. Never make a fishing bet with Mr. Walleye. Tail's blue. Look at that. The fins are blue. That is a blue walleye. Very rare. Our clamshell hot bite turned into a triple play. Double, uh, double, double. Ooh, that's a dandy. Oh, nice fish, though. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Is mine bigger? Nope. Yeah, Sorry. It is. All right, what do you got? Here we go. That little 15 incher there. Whoa. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's just shaking. Ooh, that's a dandy. That's a beauty. Isn't that a beauty? And look at that orange color on them. I mean, it's just awesome. <laughs> go, on, go on, enjoy. Yeah, I guess so. Time for shore lunch. Time for me to go to work. It was time for a Mr. Walleye special. Walleye's fixed his way. Look at this, huh? Hold the knife still on the skin, and the last little bit, just flake it out. See? Hot pan, cold grease. Helps the potatoes from sticking. But the whole secret is, is what you have to do is take the fish away, bring it in this, shake it like that. Press it in there, and then just lay it on a plate, let it set for 10 minutes. It'll marinate itself. With the oil at about 350 degrees, time for the main entree. What I always do is try to make sure I keep hot fish and cold fish going. So if I take a few pieces out, then I put some cold ones back in, trying to help keep the temperature consistent. Truth is, one should never complain about the taste of fresh walleye, especially 
in the company of ghosts. As we explore these historic waters, there was plenty of history to see. This is the, uh, the remnants of the old sawmill here at McDougal Mills. It was established about 1920. Hard to believe what was once here. Log booms, steam plants to run the saws, remnants of an old bridge, even remnants of a blacksmith shop, with pieces of rusted metal laying where they were tossed nearly a century ago. There's an old rusty nail. Slowly it will disappear, I guess, but it's gonna be a while. In my travels in Canada's north, I've learned that often the ideas of men eventually turn to folly, while nature's grand plan, waters rich with walleyes, show no signs of fading away like the ghosts of an old sawmill. Hold that right on the grill. Coming up, what to do with venison burger, another tasty treat as we go wild in the kitchen. That's next. Closed captioning from Minnesota Bound is brought to you by Connecticut. Time now to go wild in the kitchen. Do you still have some venison in the freezer? Well, do we have an idea for you, or I should say Chef Jim and Laura Shera know how to make it. Barbecue season is officially here, which means it's burger season. And I'm here with Chef Jim Kimberg from Fire Lake Grill House and Cocktail Bar, and we are making venison burgers. Venison burgers. That sounds delicious. Now, I understand this is just straight up venison. Straight up ground venison. We have some lingonberry chutney, we got some fresh horseradish sauce, and we also have some cranberry Munster cheese we're gonna melt over the yeah, top. That of sounds it. delicious and gourmet. All right, let's get started. There you go. I have a question for you with sure. seasoning the burger. Do you put the seasoning in before you make the patty or after? I am a big advocate of after. Okay, is there a reason for that? The salt will tend to draw some of that moisture out, especially with venison being such a lean meat. Keep the moisture keep in. Keep the moisture in. All right. So we're just gonna throw that right on the grill and then don't forget to season the other side as well. Let's take a little peek, see what we got. Oh, uh, looks pretty good to me. What do you think? Oh, looks perfect. How many minutes was that for each side about? Probably about three minutes. I think we're ready for the uh, lingonberry chutney. I just want maybe a tablespoon and a half on top of that. Now, if we couldn't find lingonberry chutney, what else can we use here? Uh, cranberry chutney would be great. And that would actually, uh, we're, we got the cranberry monster cheese on top, so any kind of chutney will work. But uh, lingonberry is my preferred. If you can't find lingonberry, use what's available. Just find some chutney. You got it. Okay, so we need to add some horseradish to the bun? Yeah, we have some fresh horseradish sauce. If you want to just spread a little of that on the bottom of the bun. Is this you can be a generous little... with it. Oh, you can be generous. Okay, oh, yeah. I thought horseradish was a little goes a long way, but not this one? This is kind of mild. All right. But great flavor. Okay, look at that burger. Ta-da! You can't have a touch. venison burger without uh, some venison jerky. So, look at that, gorgeous. Go. Do I get to take a bite of this monster? <laughs> If you're brave enough to <laughs> go in for a bite, go for it. This is going to be amazingly ladylike. Look at that juicy burger. That is a juicy burger. All right, Jim, once again, you have outdone yourself. This is so, so delicious. I love the fact that it's straight venison. Yep. Nothing else is mixed with it. Nothing else. So there you have it. If you want to get wild in the kitchen, put a little chutney on your venison burgers this summer. Folks in Baudette wanted to say thanks to our veterans for their service. The result, a great day of fishing on Lake of the Woods. Compliments of Baudette Resorts and Lodges. We tagged along. Stay with us. Minnesota Bound, brought to you by Running Aces Casino and Racetrack, Tracker Boats, and by Totem Resorts. As Americans, we give thanks to those in the military who defend our freedoms. Well, some folks up in Baudette, Minnesota felt the same way. They invited some veterans for a great day of fishing on Lake of the Woods, and we tagged along. 
This may appear to be just another day of fishing, anglers gathering at Borderview Lodge to board a guide boat on Lake of the Woods. Lanny, I'm Brian, Brian, John, and Mike. Optimism is always at its highest at the start of any fishing trip. And as he's done for four summers now, Captain John Gerkink steers his craft toward the lake's walleye haunts. Captain John also knows, as fishing trips go, this one is different, very different. You know, it means a lot, especially Matt and Tony. You know, we had them last year, and uh, some of the stuff they went through, so we can enjoy fishing like this, it means a lot to me. It's an, it's an honor to have them on my boat. Yes, a pair of Minnesota veterans, Matt Burr and Tony Stans, they are here for the fishing. Come up here, that best fishing I've had ever. They're also here for a whole lot more. Well, the fishing part to me is uh, just being on the water. Uh, I, I think a lot of people confuse with fishing and catching. When you just get to go fishing in general and, and not consider it catching, it's a beautiful thing because you take a lot more into account. You should also know that Matt and Tony are special guests of Baudette's resort community for an annual event called Pay It Forward. It's the community's way of saying thanks to our nation's military veterans. This year we have 60 vets ranging from uh, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and all the recent conflicts, so it's great. We've got a good variety of uh, different people all deserving to be here. Another organization, Fishing for Life, helped gather the veterans from the Twin Cities who wanted to go fishing. Fishing for Life's mission serving kids, families, and communities through fishing and outdoors. And they're seldom a dull moment. That's Matt in the banana suit. He likes to make people smile, he explained, because after what he's gone through, it makes him smile. I had an organization called uh, Segs for Vets. They actually donated to me a Segway so I can get around on my own. I'm trying to get people to smile, so I thought, well, you know what? I put a banana costume on while riding a Segway to the store. I had some people ask if they can take pictures of me, and there's they started laughing. I thought, well, I might start doing this a little more often. Matt's combat tour in Afghanistan, however, was no laughing matter. August 9th, 2009. We get ambushed from the mountainside. A bullet comes in through the roof, into the back of my head, and comes out just above my right eye. Matt knows today he is a walking miracle. Can't drive because my vision is gone. I have no left peripheral vision anymore. Can't really hold down a job very well from my ability to process anything very quickly. But he can make people laugh. It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. I have a Santa Claus costume. I usually save that for the 25th of July. You gotta have Christmas in July sometimes. And he can catch fish. Okay, nice walleye. Perfect eater. What do we got there, Tony? Nice one? Tony and Matt first met and became friends through fishing. Uh, I love fishing. Uh, just the fact that uh, I get to be around other veterans that uh, have been in similar situations that I have. And by the end of the, our trip, uh, usually we have a pretty close-knit group. Uh, I was in the National Guard. I deployed with uh, 1st Combat Brigade. The big deployment um, out of 2005 gave me uh, neck and back injuries predominantly, but it also what they consider a mild traumatic brain injury. I'm fortunate enough that my injuries uh, allowed me to still maintain my driver's license. Serve the soldiers and pay it forward, that's the name of the event. The goal, of course, was to make sure our veteran guests had plenty of fishing action. Nice fish. And they did. That's a nice walleye. <laughs> yeah, smile because all good things come to an end. And our fishing day on Lake of the Woods closed with the fish fry, fish stories, and new friends. And one more thing. Thank you, veterans. Thanks for our freedoms, freedoms, and fishing. Oh, great day, but really, really, I did not plan to catch the biggest walleye. I mean, it just happened, okay? Well, that about does it for us. Remember, introduce the kid to the great outdoors. I'm Ron Sharon, of course, always the star of the show, Raven.
Yes, you know it. Transportation provided by Premier Transportation. Call 1-800-899-7433. For more information on these stories and more, catch us on the web at mnbound.com.